Okay. Um, one of the things I think how to learn who you are is you look at the patterns that you create in your life, and I've, I've for a long time, quit trying to sort through them, quit trying to figure out why or who, you know, but uh, like when I was in uh, high school, one of the things I did was I worked at a friend of mine's furniture store. His dad owned a furniture store and they needed a delivery person on Saturday, so one of the things I would do, I was working in restaurants, which I still do, you know that, uh, for the fun now, a little bit of money, but uh, we worked at the furniture store and, and uh, Frank had this great capacity for packing things, and I remember going, picking up my sister's wedding dining room and living room set in an extended Ford van, this is in the 70s, and going to this big warehouse and we were packing the stuff up and the guy said, look, we close at 5, and I looked at the stuff, I said, that's okay, he said, you're not, it's, it's Friday, we close at 5, we're not, you're not going to be able to get the rest of this stuff, I said, I will get all this stuff in the van, he said, you will not get all that in that van, kid, I said, okay, fine. So we're starting to pack stuff in, and it's like a Tetris game, you know, put things together and, and cardboard, and he came back, and he said, look, if you scratch one of those pieces of furniture, I will not replace it. I said, okay, fine, I'm not going to scratch anything either. And we finally got it all packed into place, and uh, just closed the door and got ready to go on our way, and this guy looked at me and said, hey, kid, I said, yeah, he said, you want a job? So then I meet my wife, and and her father owns a furniture store, you know, and I said to her, you know, why couldn't your, your karma have been for your dad to own a jewelry store as we were moving, you know, mattresses and shit all over the place? She said, why? I said, because then we would have these little tiny boxes full of really valuable stuff as opposed to all this furniture to move around and get rid of. But yesterday I was in uh, an airport. It might have been the day before. It must have been the day before yesterday, and I walked into one of the restrooms, and I saw that the toilet paper roll was empty and it's one of my little pet peeves in the house you know if the kids can't change a toilet roll it just it sometimes drives me absolutely batty but I got to laugh and I said here I'm in a public restroom and I was sitting doing my business and I got looking at the toilet paper roll thing and I figured out how to put them there was toilet paper on the back of the toilet I figured out how to take out the old roll and put in a new roll on this thing and I thought well Maybe this is just part of my karmic destiny to be a toilet paper roll changer everywhere I go because it seems to be what I do. And I, I believe that one of the keys to life is if you look at what continually happens to you, you can get upset by it or you can look and see, oh, wait a minute, maybe this is what I came here for. Maybe my purpose is to change toilet paper rolls everywhere I go. I'm not sure whether that's a realism, a truism, or a, just a silly noticing but uh, you want more of this nonsense, www.micpeakperformance.com.